is the same place where the group set up a tent on the slope. But why? Any experienced hiker knows that the wind on the slope is always more powerful. In addition, it is reliably known that on the night of February 1-2, 1959, there was a very strong blizzard in this place. With such a strong wind, it is impossible to light a fire here, and for firewood they need to walk one and a half kilometers along the slope towards the forest and return back. It's a long and difficult road. We know that the Dyatlov group were very experienced hikers. By that time they had already made several difficult trips. So why didn't the experienced Dyatlov, who was responsible for the lives of eight more people, decide to put up a tent in a safer place? Why did they set up this tent on a slope where there was a real snowstorm? And why didn't they put it down next to the trees where there is no wind and there is firewood? This is strange. Does this fact prove that they really went on this hike to observe some kind of phenomenon? By the way, it is on the slope that the panorama is very good.